<laughs> Mistakes were made. We're good, though. We're good. I think we're good. I'm not good. <gasps> the new beta is out. Wow, that was fast. Or was it fast? Because it's already the fourth month of 2022 and time's just slipping by. Probably because I'm getting older and responsibilities are getting in the way of enjoying life. Before I know it, the summer's gonna be over. It's gonna be Christmas, then 2023. Then history is gonna repeat itself year after year after year. And then I'm gonna retire. Anyway, let's play some Minecraft. So I backed up my world uh, a couple days ago. <laughs> so if anything messes up, well, we lose our whole ocean base. That's cool. Um, but I actually haven't updated it in a while because... I was just worried. I don't know. Everything good? Everything good. Everything looks good. We have freaking mangrove swamps. Can you believe this? Look at this, by the way. Oh, yeah. Oh. First thing I want to check is over here in my little hole. Yeah, I use sponges to clear all this out. Got a nice geode there. Okay, so that was not a thing they added. I was thinking in this update they were going to add terrain down there, but I guess not. If you don't know what that is, go to the last episode and check it out. We might mess around down there today. But all I know is I want to find out what's new in this beta. We're going to go look for it. First place to check is here. Wait a minute. Do I have the new features? Where's that new trap door at? I updated. Well, what the heck? There's nothing in here. Ah, oh, did I mess something up? Oh, oh, it's still downloading. I saw this and I was like, okay, it's downloaded. Almost right. Well, hurry up. I'm trying to make a Minecraft video here. There it is. Oh. Oh, yeah. A new door, too. Another red wood block. I don't know if we needed that, but we have it. Packed mud. Mud bricks. Muddy mangrove roots. Like, I've seen all this, but I'm, like, so surprised <laughs> by looking at it. There it is. Mud. It's like another fancy door. You know, we have one fancy door. Wood looks good. Now, mud. I, when I picture mud, I actually never pictured it being gray, but I guess that's correct, isn't it? Oh, yeah. This is cool. Now, does this mix well with it? Oh, it kind of does. Huh. Mangrove roots. These are going to be used for so many cool things. Packed mud. That's almost like clay or dried. Great texture on that. And then the... That sounds interesting. The bricks, too. How's this thing look? Whoa! Ooh, a beehive. <laughs> nope, still there. Good. I wanted to stay. I don't know why I think it would be fixed. Okay, I'm not gonna search until I find one. I'm just gonna search around for a little bit until maybe I find one. <laughs> that made sense. Because I wanna do some building today, um, but it wouldn't hurt to find and get some of these new blocks and perhaps we could build with them. Let's find out how rare this thing is. Oh, thought I was in a whole new area. Apparently not, because I have built here. Hmm. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Look at that. That guy's living the life over there. <laughs> no way. No way. Look at this guy. Oh, look, there's a swamp right there. I didn't even notice. Oh, look at the... Is it cut off? No. Uh, kind of. Is he home? That would be amazing. To oh, look at that window. Oh, it's kind of slanted. I see. More steelish compass. See that new compass they added? It's called the relocate... I forgot the exact name of it, but it takes you to your death location. And all I saw was criticism in the feedback area when he showed it on Twitter. It's a cool little mechanic for early game. I know that for sure. I know I won't be using it around now, but like everyone's main concern was is what about hardcore players? It's like, what about them? I mean, yeah, people play hardcore, but I guarantee that's probably like 5%, not even that, of people that play the game that play hardcore. Oh, where's the dang mangrove? That's rather annoying. Oh, I didn't even bring any shulker boxes to collect stuff. Well, we got a pretty big swamp here. Nothing, though. Oh, did I pass that swamp? You can have that. I don't want that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, my God. It's what? How did I forget about this feature? A new mob. I forgot these guys hold them captive. 
I wonder where else you can find them. Can you find them naturally? Hey! Oh, there's, oh, there's three of them in there. Oh my god. New mobs in Minecraft. What's that? What are you doing? Before I... Oh, they sound so cool. Before I let them out, I need to learn these guys real quick. Huh. So, I more of interpreted these guys as being something that follows you around in this world and helps you gather items. I mean this world as in when you're adventuring. But these guys are actually more used for farming purposes. Because whatever item you put in their hand, they can only pick up that item when they find it laying on the ground. They don't have any mining capabilities or anything like that, so if, you give them, if I give them something right now, they obviously won't find it anywhere unless they find it on the ground. So, these guys are going to be very useful for automatic farms, like placing hoppers in the ground. Because when you place a note block on the ground, they come back to that area once you ring it, and they'll always drop that item where that note block is. So I marked them down in my journal. We know where they are when we want to come mess with them. As of right now, we really want to find this mangrove swamp. Man, just nothing. I've seen about four swamps so far. No mangroves. Look at this biome, though. Love the look of this. It's the jungle edge. It looks like it's its own biome now. Usually they're on the edge of jungles. And I'm running out of rockets and I'm far from home, so that's fine. Oh, here's a jungle. No way. No. Dang it. Just swamp. Dang it. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm vulnerable. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's it. Whoa, look at those leaves. Those almost look like modded leaves. Okay, we sleep here. We sleep here now. Don't die. I'm 100 levels. Please, no creeper. I was trying to get some gunpowder. Oh my god, there it is. <gasps> Yo, look at this place. Whoa. Whoa. It looks so good. I made sure not to look at any of the pictures of this because I didn't want, like, I don't know. I just didn't want to be disappointed. But this is amazing. Look how big the trees get. Oh, and there's a bunch of bees in it. You're not mad at me, right? Cool. Oh, man. I don't even want to dig this stuff up. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's the flower thing, right? Uh, whoops. I need silk touch. Nope. <laughs> Wait, what are those? Oh, those are like, they have to grow, don't they? Grab these bones here. I want to see if you can bone meal these things. Oh. Whoa. Look at that. It's growing. How do you know when it's finished? Like that, huh? Oh, I got one. That's all I need. I'm out of here. Just kidding. I want to take some mud. I need some mud. How does this work? Just like wood? Yeah. <laughs> I love that sound. I don't know why. You mind this? Nice. Of course, my shovel's almost broken. That's just great. I am so prepared for this. Wait a minute. Now, hold on. Where's the redwood? Or the mangrove wood? There's oak right there. Why did I get oak? Don't tell me they didn't add it yet, and I just found this biome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mistakes were made. Small small mistakes were made. That's serious. We're good, though. We're good. I think we're good. I'm not good. Oh. Ah, hey, guys. I was kidding. I was kidding. I was kidding. Guys, I was kidding. I didn't mean to break your nest. Oh, God. Oh. Anyway, I'm going back to get my stuff. Right, guys, that's cool. Nah, <laughs> you died. That's what you get. Like, seriously, I was just. Did they get mad at you again? I did nothing. I mined a few mud blocks and they immediately got mad again, and you guys are fast. Go away. Don't mess with me. You guys want to mess around? All right. I will slaughter all of you. Uh, don't get too close to Severus. I mean, oh my god. That's what you guys get. Simple as that. They wouldn't leave me alone. I guess they're always mad at you once you break a nest. We good? We good? I wish I dropped XP or something. Oh, got one. Oh, got a, got a few. <laughs> Yo, look at this place. This looks awesome. Oh, wow. This is a big one. So I got one sapling. I can grow this stuff at home and mass harvest it. It's just the mud blocks I need to be actually gathering. Really? Okay, give me a little target practice. That's cool. 
Yeah, so big sad news on that. Um, I guess it's just a bug right now that those oak logs are actually supposed to be the mangrove logs. Uh, that sucks because I was really looking forward to using some of those. So that means we're going to have to find a whole new biome when they fix that. But I'm also glad we found these because they said the trees are a little bit too big and they might make them smaller. These guys are so bipolar. They'd be getting mad and leaving. <laughs> Which, I love them this big. I don't know why people would complain that they're too big. But I've gathered what I want. I'm going to head out. Ah, it's good to be back home after being in the water and seasick for so long. I came back home because I want to grow a couple of these trees and maybe mess around some of these mud blocks. Wait, how do you... I already tried it once. Uh, you, I always thought you put the mud in the furnace to get dried mud, but you actually combine it with hay, which makes sense. Oh my gosh. I, know, I already know what I want to build. I want to make a mud village. Make it look like there's some people that live on the outskirts of my land that have not necessarily caught up with the times per se and still build out of mud <laughs> so how does this work you just gotta use a whole stack of both all right and then now i can make mud bricks oh there's a lot of hay right there all right i gotta be careful though this is all the mud i have okay where do we grow one of these trees at i will admit it did cross my mind that i could grow these out in our new biome area I mean, it is considered a dry biome, but these trees, you gotta admit, I think they would... Didn't really want that to happen. You know what? I don't care. I'm like God in this world. I can just make you guys go away like that. Oh, I abuse the peaceful way too much. So we did dedicate this area to, well, the lush area, so... Oh, no, I'm not gonna grow it out here. I'm gonna keep this a dry biome, and this is where we make... Oh my god, it's perfect. This is where we make the muddy village. Oh, these blocks look so good out here. Oh, heck yeah. We're going to do that next episode. I'm sitting here trying to run through my world, find an area where I want to plant this tree. But you know what? We're always wanting to add age to this place. We're supposed to last episode, but I gave up on that really fast. What if we do it here? What if I slowly... Oh my, I can't believe we actually have mud now. This is awesome. What if I slowly start placing mud throughout my place? I'd probably do it close around the water to make it look better. But I was thinking, what if I get rid of that tree up there and plant one of these? Is this going to be a mistake? Probably. Do I care? No. Ah, uh, such a decent looking tree though. I need to update that swing. <laughs> Why am I having such a hard time deciding where to plant this? I just need to plant it. You know what? Screw it. I was having a hard time deciding what to do with this biome. I was going to make it look really dead for a while. And as you know, we have these pathetic looking dead trees. <laughs> but now that we've built this biome over here, which is dead, and it has way better looking trees, we're going to get rid of all these pathetic looking ones. And we're actually going to grow a few mangrove trees around here. And it's still going to be no man's land but it's going to have some decent looking trees around. We'll just do the first one right here. How about that? Holy mother, what the heck? Did I just create like a creature? <laughs> what is this? Oh my God. Oh my God. It's like a walking tree with four legs. No. Oh, there's one. Woo, I thought I didn't get a sapling there for a second. Okay, so this one might be questionable, but we'll leave it here for now. And you know what? I'm probably going to go back to that. Well, I will go back to that mangrove biome and collect all that mud because I think it would look really good out here too. Oh my lord, what are these trees it's giving me? I mean, I guess that's how they looked. Yeah, I don't know what I'm complaining about. Those look interesting. <laughs> yeah, um, these might not look the best out here. I'll just probably harvest these. But I do, for a fact, want to make a small biome of these trees around here somewhere. Just want to catch up on some donos here. Caitlin Winsack, Julian Faragier Faragiero, Faragiero. That's a very cool last name. Riff's Bedrock Adventure. Oh, man. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Carlos Brights, Samuel Zaliska, and Cesar Garcia. And Riff's and Cesar Garcia made it onto the wall. Thank you guys so much, Caesar. That's a lot of money. Bedrock, you've donated a lot. Of, you guys are awesome. Thank you for supporting this channel. I need to go find some more name tags soon. I do have all them name tags left up in the lab. We got to start 
Well, I have started. I have in between episodes been naming all my villagers, but I got to start spreading them out through the lab and giving them jobs. <laughs> and see how long they last. I'm going to go ahead and end this one here, though. This was a fun little adventure episode to get some new blocks. Next episode, I think I want to make a little muddy city. We're going to give it a shot. I'm going to answer today's comment question, which comes from... Poison Upbeat. Do you like cooking? And if so, what is your favorite dish to cook? Oh, man. Um, well, here's the thing. I want to love cooking. Like, I actually really respect the art of cooking. But I can't do it. <laughs> it's not that I can't. It's that... I don't sit down and study it and actually try. I just immediately try it. And then if I can't, if I don't succeed at making it taste good, I'm like, well, I'll never be good at cooking. <laughs> no, that's not my entire outlook on it. I basically just, well, okay. I made chili once and I burned it. How do you burn chili? Cause I did it. <laughs> and also I, I followed this recipe online for the chili and you put garlic in it. Not everyone puts garlic in it and I don't even like garlic. I'm just like, I guess I thought most people put it in there for flavoring. So I'm like, all right, I'll do it. And I didn't mince it up enough. So every bite I took was, it was just a hard little crunch of garlic. And I was like, what the heck have I done? And I burned it because I think it was a new pot and it's never been cooked with before. <laughs> and I forgot to stir it for a little bit. And I, I looked at the bottom of the chili when I was cooking it and it was just all black. I'm like, I am, this is a terrible. <laughs> I don't know, I, I got some work to do. I'll stick to my grilled cheeses though. I love grilled cheeses, that's my that's my best <laughs> meal. <laughs> yep, yep, I don't care. Hey, tell me all you want. Grilled cheeses will always be smacking. I'll see you in the next episode, bye-bye. Wait, they didn't fix the lighting.